Sling TV has recently deployed its newest feature, Cloud DVR. Now this has been a major hang up for potential cord cutters and we thought this would be a great time to take a fresh look at Sling TV and let you know what we think of it. So if you're a seasoned Sling TV user and you just want to hear about the new DVR, skip ahead a few minutes. But if you're new to Sling TV or if you're deciding whether it's time to cut that cord, stick with me and we'll go over some of the basics of Sling TV. Let's dive in. Now there are a few other services out there that stream TV, but Sling was the first, and it's still the cheapest. Well, because Sling TV uses your internet connection, it may be a great option if that connection is strong and reliable. If it's not though, Sling TV isn't your best bet. There's more to whether or not we recommend it, of course, and we'll talk about that stuff too, but that's the first and most important requirement. Well, it's both cheaper and less expensive, and what I mean by that is that you get what you pay for when it comes to channel count. Yes, Sling TV can be incredibly inexpensive, but you'll get far fewer channels than you do with traditional TV service, and depending on the package, you even get fewer channels than you would with Sling's major competitors, PlayStation View or DirecTV Now. But you also pay a lot less, between 20 and 40 bucks a month with some optional premium channels and that DVR service that you can add on for five bucks a month. Let's be honest though, most of us only watch a handful of channels, so if your favorites are included in one of Sling's packages, this will be a good way to save a few bucks. Well, Sling definitely uses that term all over the place and they want you to think that this is a la carte and it's definitely a step in that right direction, but this isn't quite a la carte TV. If it were, we'd pay a buck or two for each channel we want and then ditch the rest. But that's not quite the way this works. Sling is still bundling those channels together like your traditional TV service does, it just bundles far fewer to keep those costs low. As for what you get in those bundles, you have a choice between the orange plan, the blue plan, or a combo of both. If all the channels you need are in one plan, great, you just grab that one. If not though, if uh, you're a big sports fan, for instance, and you need both ESPN and the Fox Sports Networks, there's a good chance you'll end up needing to get that more expensive combined plan. Well, that may be one of the best things about Sling TV. None of the packages come with a contract and canceling is incredibly easy. Uh, actually, I'll tell you a secret. I personally sign up for Sling TV every September, then cancel it every January. All I really want from it is to watch college football, so I pay for the most expensive plan for four months and then cancel it until the next season starts again. You can watch Sling on almost any device, from your computer to your Apple TV to your smartphone. It's actually faster to list the devices Sling TV doesn't work with. Uh, the big omission here is PlayStation, because PlayStation View is a competitor, so they weren't feeling too charitable and didn't let the Sling app on there. Well, that's a good question. I couldn't do extensive testing on every single device, at least not very quickly, so I'm gonna go get some help on this one from the rest of the team. Let's go. All right, now I use Sling TV on my Roku, but this is Scott, and he uses Sling on his laptop. And this is Gundy, he uses Sling on his Amazon Fire TV, and we've all been testing it a lot. Now I wanted to ask you guys, is there any difference between using Sling on the laptop versus the Roku? No. Uh, what about the Amazon Fire? Pretty much the same. Yeah, that's kind of our point. It's uh, the same experience across all of those devices. Uh, but Scott, you were telling me something about using it on the computer. Um, it's a, kind of a, a weird customer experience. What's that? Yeah, I had to download an application to use it. There's no web app, you mean? No. So, do you use an Apple or a, a PC? Both. And it's the same on both? Okay, so you can't download a web app. Does that uh, decrease the experience at all? Does it make it any worse? Well, eh, a little bit. I mean, I'm probably one of the few dozen people that had to visit the Windows Store to download the application. 
and I had never done that before. So Now, what about the interface? Because uh, Sling TV is a little bit different. It's a huge departure from something you might find on traditional TV. Usually you'd have a grid and you'd show the channels up and down and what time each of those is on there. Uh, but it's a little bit different. Do you like the experience on Sling where it looks a little more like Netflix? You know, in that sense, it's easy to navigate. You can see what all the shows are at this time, but I did find myself kind of missing that, that timeline grid that, that the cable experiences offers you. And I know Scott will disagree. Is that because you're old? It could be because I'm old, but hey, I'm a demographic, you know? <laughs> uh, um, but uh, we just noticed that we would find ourselves hopping back and forth kind of in a weird, weird way to navigate the interface, in my opinion. But Scott, do you prefer it? over the old way of doing things? I do. I, I don't know what a channel number is. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to have to remember hundreds of numbers. So it's nice to have a title card with a nice image and picture. It's pretty, so I'll click on it. Uh, now there are several menus in the interface uh, along that, uh, that top bar there. Which one do you think you use the most, Scott? The on now. Why is that? Because it tells me what's on right now. I thought that might be the answer. <laughs> what about you, Gundy? I found myself navigating it by channel because I knew, you know, this is this is my jam. Food Network is my jam or whatever. What's coming up next? And I wanted to see all that in the timeline view, like I do. Uh, now there is a, a tab for a movie guide. Can you explain to us what that is and whether you use it? It has new releases, other movies that you can rent. It's, it's convenient, because you can't do that with Netflix. Uh, yeah, I think so, Scott. Yes, I was a little surprised to see commercials with on-demand programming. And me being very high maintenance, I was hoping that it would tell me if I had to watch commercials before I started watching, but it doesn't. It's not a perfect world. It's still nice that it's on demand, and if you do do the DVR, you can skip that stuff if it's live TV, but it's not perfect, but it's good. Yes, the rumors have come true, and Sling TV finally has a DVR service. It works pretty much like any other DVR service you may have used, with a couple differences. First, it's cloud-based, so you don't have to store content on whatever device you're using. And second, it only records 50 hours of content, which feels a little bit light, uh, but it's enough for a couple seasons of a show and maybe a few movies. I think, Gunda, you did not test the DVR, but Scott and I did. Uh, what was your experience like, Scott? Pretty easy. Any difference between other DVRs? Yes, you cannot record ESPN or Disney channels. I uh, know that was actually the big difference between uh, this and other DVRs is it blocks certain channels. Uh, the only one that we noticed was anything owned by Disney. So Disney, ABC, ESPN, all that uh, free form, I think was one of them. Uh, anything that's owned by Disney will not be eligible for DVR service which is really too bad, and it's one of the drawbacks of not having a physical box that you're recording into where you get to have the say, right? Anyway, if you're looking to ditch cable or satellite to save a few bucks, you are in the right place. If you have a strong, reliable internet connection and you don't mind a little extra work to learn a new interface, then yes, we definitely recommend Sling TV. It's not perfect, but it's great for trying out the cord cutting experience, especially because, like I mentioned before, not only is signing up easy, but canceling is simple too. So for the first week at least, you've got nothing to lose. Anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. If you have a more specific question, check out the full interview on our site. It was written by Scott, and I will link to it below. He put in even more time than I did watching TV for you guys. We have very difficult jobs, by the way. Uh, anyway, like I said, the link is in the description below. So on your way, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you'll know when our next review hits. Thanks, everybody.